But heaven can't help me now Nothing lasts forever But this is gonna take me to Hey guys, today's tutorial is about um, subtle fades out and in. Um, basically for this effect you have to add the colouring to your clip because if you don't and you add it to the track the fade out isn't going to look as clean because of the way it doesn't like, kind of fade out to true black I think and something else but I don't understand all the ins and outs of it. But basically you have to add it to the clip and it looks much nicer anyway so I suggest always doing this. Um, uh, for this you need at least two tracks, we can do it on two because it's simple. Basically I've already marked out the beats to make my life easier. We're going to ignore this one, let's delete it. Um, and what we're going to do is we place it, the first clip, just after the beat that you're going to fade into and drag that fade back. Uh, I usually do it for like over half the way if it's going to be like a really long one but it depends on how long your beats are and how slow the song is and all that sort of stuff but for this sort of a slow effect we're going to do it for over half the clip then we take the next clip and we put it on top and then we fade it in and then we do the same thing the other side fade it back out usually for over half the way. This is kind of going over two beats so I like to make sure that it's at least past, so like, like at least on this beat because this is going to be the effect for the beat that it's fading out. So, but I'm going to put it just before because you can't really tell. As you can see. And then we fade the last one in. Boom. Basically uh, I try to do it like so it's a bit further in so like this hasn't, basically this hasn't fully finished fading out when this one fades in. As you can see, it's going to look different when this is on top because it's got priority being on top the top track because I've got them both as source. Um, so it's going to look different this way round than it is this way round. Well, you might not be able to tell, but it does look slightly different. So basically, that's why you sometimes have a third track if you wanted to do this. Keep going, <laughs> but we're not going to do that today. So yeah, this is it. Sometimes I think it's quite nice to, like, you fade out a long clip and then you bring in another one in black and white. Just an extra random stylistic choice there. And Shift B, so we can just have a look and see what this looks like, because I have no idea. Dun, 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 dun. Basically Shift B just renders a section so you can view it without Vegas stuttering like it always does. But heaven can't help me now, nothing lasts forever. This is gonna take me down, you're so okay. tired. That's the effect. Uh, it's very simple, and I think it looks quite nice on like slower videos. And some people use it for every video that they don't ever crossfade, but as we know, I always crossfade. <laughs> but uh, I think it's I think it's great. So I hope this helps. Uh, any questions, just put them in the comments, or any other requests, also put them in the comments. I'm happy to do anything. Okay, see you guys. Hope you have a nice week.